As our former Typhoon Agon, also known as LNR internationally, continues to move off towards the north and east. We have another storm system developing in its wake, and this has already caused the onset, officially the onset of the rainy season in Luzon here, according to the Philippine Meteorological Agency. They're also giving it a low to moderate chance for tropical development off of the northwest coast. Plenty of moisture coming on shore, so at the very least, we're going to continue to see that increase in rainfall for the west coast of Luzon. You just see that convection surging on shore around your big broad circulation in here. Now at this time, it's not a high chance of development. We need this to tighten up, become a bit more organized. And if it did develop into a tropical low, I would expect it to be more of a monsoonal type low pressure area, but something we're going to continue to monitor over the upcoming days as that moisture on continues to push on shore. Thursday heading into Friday, this is really a northwest coast of Luzon phenomena. If anything, this tightens up. It actually would pull the moisture offshore, becoming more of a problem for southern Taiwan around Hong Kong. That persistent moisture pushing on shore Friday over towards Saturday and even into Sunday as well before overall that flow starts to shift back in uh, towards the uh, south here. So very dynamic and fluid setup out here, but at the very least, I still expect some more rain for a couple more days along the west coast. And then southern Taiwan, southern areas of China, all circulating around this developing kind of monsoonal uh, area of low pressure. So I want to continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, our storm system, no longer a typhoon, of course, now a uh, tropical storm moving towards the north and east winds uh, down to 110 kilometers per hour. So uh, still got a pretty decent tropical storm status. That is definitely in the right side of the storm since this is moving forward at 26 kilometers per hour. Pressure still at 990 hectopascals. Remember, the further north it gets, the less uh, that pressure is really kind of uh, noteworthy, I suppose, uh, around this storm system. But, I mean, it's still potent. It's definitely going to be a messy couple of days here. Not a couple of days, messy one day on the Izu Islands as this pushes overhead and towards the uh, north and east here. Let's actually take a look at that forecast from the Japan Meteorological Agency as it just chugs along here. Three day on Thursday, heading into Friday, the Izu Islands, that's just off of shore of Tokyo, and even the Kanto Plain for that matter, gonna be looking at some messy weather Friday uh, morning through the early afternoon hours. You see this is kicks on by, this is at Friday at 9 a.m. Place like Chiba Prefecture, definitely gonna get a bit messy out here. And you could even see in places like Yokosuka, those winds getting kicked in from the north that is gonna be brushing up against the uh, northern coastlines there. So. It'll be messy just for a bit, but not a full-on typhoon. Maybe a couple train delays, things like that, before it clears out by Friday afternoon. So not a long-duration event uh, with this one either. Something we're going to just continue to watch out for as that pulls away. And then you can just see the Westpac High here. I like this graphic. See that general overall flow as that flows around. And we got that rainy season officially started out here in the uh, Philippines. So Friday, still isolated afternoon shower into uh, Mindanao, but it is dry, continuing to be dry across a good portion of Asais. And if you do see some rain here on Friday in Luzon, it will be immediately, mainly Manila, Subic Bay, uh, yeah, along the immediate coast here, Region 1, uh, in, out there towards the locals, places like that. Even Baguio going to be looking at some showers, albeit, I think, relatively dry into the Cagayan uh, Valley. So want to continue to watch out for what's going on there. If you're out in Shark Out, yeah, overall dry weather there for you. I know you've been needing the rain. You have that easterly flow for the surfers. Meanwhile, in the Tacloban, next 48 hours, yeah, you're going to be looking at fine conditions, partly cloudy maybe on your Friday, but just generally... Yeah, stay on the dry side. I know you need the rain. And then we look out towards Naha. Well, you still have those frontal areas kicking on by with that chance of some showers by Friday over towards Saturday as well. So, yeah, continuing to monitor this out here today, guys. Not one, but two tropical systems we're keeping an eye on. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Big thanks for everybody who supports this channel. And as always, stay safe.